M0 FXB Pi Star hotspot here. And we've also got a uh, Anytone 168 DMR radio, but hotspots do work on Fusion and, and D-Star as well. I'm going to show you my settings because someone's messaging me and they're not very, uh, they're not very um, clear on the settings. So let's show you my hotspot first. So to communicate with your hotspot, of course, you need to carry out the initial setup. So I'll go to my configuration here. There's configuration there. Click that. And then here on the left, I recommend you only have one mode at, at a time. So we've got DMR, the slider's on, and we're using a DMR radio that you saw. Now, if you're using a D-Star or a Yesu radio, okay, then you would slide that on. If you slide all three on, it will try and work, and it will sort of queue them up. You could effectively have three radios, yeah, but they do have to be separate radios, yeah? Um, but to me, I find that very, very messy. Just to confuse you more, at the bottom here, at the bottom here, there is some crossovers from, as you can see there, DMR to YSF, DMR to NXDN, and so on. So that's quite cool, but not D-Star. Anyway, I'm going to show you my basic settings here. So I haven't changed these. This is a simplex hotspot, so it's the kind of hotspot that's got one antenna, okay? If it's one of these ones that have got two antennas, that's going to be a duplex one, but we're not, this is about a simplex, okay? The most common kind of hotspot, so single antenna. And scroll down, and then here you need to have, in this section here, you need to have the same frequency. Let's move my little face out of the way. Uh, you need to have the, the same frequency here that you've programmed in your radio, and I'm going to show you that as well. So here where it says DV Mega, you can put any name there you like, just so you recognize the hotspot when you find it in your browser. And then DMR ID, and then you can put in your location. Now a big one is here, the radio modem. Now most hotspots will come with this preset. That is the type of hotspot that you're using, because this does vary. There is one that many use, uh, which I would say is the STM one. Let's find that. STM, this one here, STM, MMDVM hat. Mine's slightly different, it's a different hat, but that's the one that most use with the GPIO pins at the end there. So, anyway, I'm not gonna change mine. Um, keep going down, and then you select your server. So imagine a big computer that's running all these talk groups. Well, the one I'm using is the BM, the, Bra the British, the Brandmeister, 2341 United Kingdom, okay? And then your hotspot security, you do need to set this password here, okay? Pretty much everything else is done. You know, you can set up Wi-Fi here if you want, but Ethernet will work. So once you've got all that in, you apply the changes. So the main thing is you've got the right DMR number, the right frequency, you've got your server. Then just quickly show you where you put your Brandmeister if you're using Brandmeister like me. Now, when you're logged into your Brandmeister account, and I'll put the link in, you click here and go to, down until it says self-care. And here it says hotspot security. Here you put your password and save. So you use the same. The idea is that so, so that someone, no one else can, can use your DMR ID. And if you click here, my devices, you'll see your device on here. Mine's on. That's green. That's another clue that it's working. So that's the hotspot side of things done. And then you can go to dashboard here. And you can see the activity. There's lots more configuration you can do here. It's, it's, it's you know, it's a very good software by uh, Andy Taylor there, MW0MWZ. So the, the, then you need to make, make sure you go into the channel that you've created on your DMR co-plug and there are, you know, a massive variety of different radios. But they all pretty, the nuts and bolts are the same for all radio. So if I go into the channel that I've got here, which is number 12. I know different co-plugs look different, but they are not really. They still need the same thing. The name, the frequency on receive and transmit. Obviously it's different if you're using a DMR repeater. They need the color code, which hotspots use one. So we've got one there. Normally that's just single, but it seems to be two now on the new software. 
slot two because DMR you cut the channel in half you can use one half or the other half so that you can actually have two channels or two people using DMR at the same time which is unusual but that's what that's why you have slot one and slot two a key one is the contact where it says contact or well, that's actually your talk group number um, that's when you transmit it will transmit on worldwide on 91 so then you go okay well how do you add a contact because when we click here we can select from a list and this list is normally thousands I've just got my favorites here you can select one of these and they're actually numbers rather than although we can name them they are actually numbers so how do you add a contact so click that out a minute on the on the side here double click digital and you're now looking for where is it contact talk groups okay and these are the few that I've added normally this is full you can actually import hundreds so if you look here the important bit is actually the number so the numbers here are what is it's almost like phone numbers is what's going to make everything work the name is so you can recognize what it is so like I haven't named everything here that's just laziness but 2351 is actually called uh, it's actually called and this is the name chat one yeah uh, but the number doesn't change click OK and so that will look nicer on your when you look at your radio and you go through the zones and remember to find a channel it needs to be in a zone so if you go up here and go to zones and I've got a zone called here hotspot which is basically a group of channels I've put in my hotspots or frequencies there and one of them is uh, hotspot 91 so I, I put in the number in the name and the slot just so I know what the channel's doing so I know it sounds a bit you know it is a bit much but uh, that's DMR for you you're either gonna learn it or constantly struggle um, so back to configuration so you've got the dashboard I click configuration and then just pause it have a look through you know you've got the basics there no you know you've got to learn this yourself <clears throat> you can't expect people to do it for you you've got to literally work hard learn and then enjoy and that's it and uh, thanks for watching my youtube channel bye for now